federal judge gives the go-ahead to a lawsuit that could stop the health care law in its tracks. In a Kelly File exclusive, we've got the lawyer at the heart of that case. Jay Sekulow is the chief legal counsel at the American Center for Law and Justice. Jay, we've had some breaking news tonight, so my apologies for the brief segment. But tell us what happened no in court today. Well, this was a, this was a case that uh, actually was, was argued by Mike uh, Carvin, and he obviously did a great job because today uh, Judge Friedman, who's an excellent judge, allowed the case to move forward. What's at stake is the IRS taking on a broader scope of what it's allowed to regulate or impose. So what happened here, you've got a situation where a number of states, Megan, over 30 states, decided not to involve these state exchanges. Again, another problem what you were just talking about. These state exchanges didn't come into existence. They said, so forget the about it, we're not doing it. You like it so much, over. feds, you, you set them up, and they, they tried to set them up, and the, and the portal to sign up for right. these exchanges is what we've been talking about, what a disaster that's been. And now you've got the disaster that people are going to be penalized for something they can't even comply with. So the IRS it increased its jurisdiction by saying even in the federal controlled uh, exchanges, which is, are most of them, the IRS can come in and insert these penalties against employers and individuals. So you've got a situation where this is another attempt. We've got a major case uh, against the HHS mandate, eight of those. One looks like it's going to the Supreme Court of the United States. I'll all end up going up there. So, Megan, what you've got is between the lousy, unbelievable rollout problems that they've had on the computer, coupled with the litigation on multiple fronts, HHS mandate, this uh, individual situation with the exchanges, you've got so many issues hitting Obamacare at the same time. It falls on itself. And if that number's correct, 126,000 or 130,000 people have enrolled, <laughs> you're not going to hit the seven million and then is the government going to come back and say we want single payer which was the plan all along or are we going to see a situation where congress is going to kind of take control here and get this thing fixed twenty percent of our economy is at stake we are going to look at that single payer we, we raised that last night we're going to look take a closer look at whether yep. that's really what's going on here in moments but the bottom line for this lawsuit today is the lawsuit has been allowed to proceed challenging Obamacare and the right. setup of these exchanges and the forcing of people to pay these penalties uh, and we will see whether that winds its way up to the Supreme Court and gives the challengers another bite at the apple. Jay, thank you. Thanks, Megan.